and welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a scatter plot using your TI-83 or 84 calculator. So a scatter plot, of course, you'll have a whole bunch of different data points, and we just want to figure out how do we get this into the calculator and actually show us uh, all of these data points so we don't necessarily have to go through all the work uh, of plotting them all out. Well, in another video, I went through uh, this entire process by hand, but well, we're going to do that same example uh, just using our calculator. So let's go ahead and get it and see how we can do this. Okay, so the very first thing we need to do is take all of our data here and put it into the calculator. So to do that, you want to find your stat button, press that, and then notice how it's under edit. Uh, go ahead and press enter to start putting in your data. We'll put all of our hours studying under list one and our exam scores under list two. So two, enter, 4.5, enter, 5, 5, 6, 3, 10, 9.5, 8. Okay, so there's all of our data points for our setting. Press the right arrow button. Let's do all of our exam scores. So 53, 35, 91, 72, 60, 62, 85, 78, 99. So, okay, it's looking pretty good. Uh, notice how both the lists are matching up, so I didn't forget any of my data points here. Uh, it's looking pretty good. Now, we need to set up our window so that it properly displays all of this data. So go to where it says, uh, oh, second, quit, and now go up here where it says window. We want to make sure that the X values for our hours of studying encompass all of our data points. So I'm going to select uh, somewhere between negative 1 up to, let's say, 10. 10? No, let's do a little bit farther since I already have a, a data point of 10. I like to choose something a little bit smaller and a little bit larger than the actual values we have, just so it, it definitely uh, has all of them on there. Okay, for our Y values, let's do a Y minimum at negative 10. Y maximum, uh, let's see, I know nothing's over 100, but let's go ahead and go up to 120. This one will also be a little bit easier to read if every single tick mark equals a value of 10. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Uh, let's go now into our stat plot. You'll see that option right above the Y equals. So second, stat plot. The first one is usually selected, so go ahead and press enter. Now we have lots of options. The very th first thing we want to do is just turn it on, so select enter. Now we can select what type of uh, plot we want to use. And this first one with a whole bunch of dots is our scatter plot. So make sure that that is highlighted. If not, go ahead and select it and press enter. We're going to take our data from list one to list two, which is perfect. So let's keep scrolling down. And now we need to choose what symbol we want to use for these data points. The first one is kind of a boxes, box looking thing, but we got a plus symbol. We got a little dot. I like my dots nice and big, so I'm going to use that first one, the box. All right. Now that we have all of that set up, let's go ahead and press our graph button and take a look to see what it looks like. Perfect. There's all of our data points. And we can compare it to what we did uh, by hand. And notice that everything is matching up here, so we're definitely on track. Now, if you want to see the value of these individual points, you can use your trace button to step through them one at a time. You'll notice that when I press that, it's now highlighting one of my data points and giving me the X and Y values. So it says 2 and 53, which happens to be our first data point. By using the right and left arrow buttons, it'll jump to other data points so I can see what those ones are. So this guy looks pretty good. Now, some other tips while, when doing the scatter plot in the calculator is uh, sometimes you might notice other lines and stuff showing up. If that happens, go into your y equals. You might have some sort of equation stored in there uh, that you don't want it to, to show, you know? So maybe I have x squared in there, but I don't want x squared on there, really. And really, it's just going to mess up the rest of my graph. Uh, and, and so if you don't want that on your scatter plot, just go into your y equals. You could erase this or select your left arrow button until the equal sign is highlighted, and press enter, and it shuts it off from displaying that particular equation. So now we get just our data points. All right, so nice and easy, that's how you do a scatter plot in your TI-83 or 84 calculator. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit mysecretmathtutor.com.